What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Have a highly requested review for you guys today. We're gonna be checking out the brand new Logitech G915 Lightspeed. Wireless, low profile, mechanical keyboard. This is just been the number one request on Twitter, YouTube comments. Y'all wanted me to check this out. Got my hands on it, plus two other additional models to show off their different mechanical switches. So in this review, we'll go over it all for you guys today. Pros, cons, sound test, all that, in case you're interested in picking out the G915. And when you take a look at the gaming market, wireless peripherals are definitely becoming more of a standard, I guess you could say, but they're a lot more trusted and used amongst the community out there. We've seen a lot of companies put out their versions of wireless mechanical keyboards, and Logitech responds with their very premium G915 Lightspeed model. So once you get it all unboxed, the keyboard is a full-sized, low-profile layout, but there are a few extra features and keys. The keyboard itself looks and feels really nice with the brushed aluminum. You even have rounded edges on the side. Aesthetically, it looks good and it feels good. But what's crazy to me is this keyboard is just 22 millimeters thin. That is insane once you factor in that they even have mechanical switches into here. So very compact and portable as well. As for some of the features, we have five G keys for macros or function underneath the illuminated G logo. Up top on the left is three M keys. These are like your memory profiles or pages. Then you have MR for recording macros on the board. Next to that is the Lightspeed wireless connection logo. Uh, there's also the Bluetooth connection logo there, uh, the button for disabling Windows keys and stuff. And then you have the brightness button right next to that. Then on the right side, you have your dedicated multimedia controls and a nice scrolling volume wheel. Always nice to see. All of these top circular keys are not mechanical though. They are some sort of rubber. Now for the Lightspeed wireless connection, you can see the little logo they have there on the top of the keyboard. It is a one millisecond response. And this is used on you know previous peripherals and stuff, and it's trusted in the gaming community. Stuff like their G Pro mouse and G502 Lightspeed, they all have this and there's just literally zero noticeable lag. Like I've had no issues whatsoever when I was gaming and if you didn't know that this was wireless, you definitely wouldn't be able to tell. So always good to have that, you know, trusted reliable connection in a wireless keyboard. Keyboard. In terms of battery life, you know, often a big concern with wireless keyboards, this boasts 30 hours at 100% brightness. Big thumbs up. On the back is the micro USB connection. It does come with a cable in case you want to use this wired or use it while you're charging. So with the G915, Logitech made their own low profile mechanical switches, GL they're called, and we have three different options in these boards. This one here is the clicky, so you know, resembling blues and stuff, if you will. And they also have a tactile version resembling browns and a linear red version. I'm very happy they went this route with including mechanical switches on this crazy thin low profile keyboard to begin with, but also the fact that there's three different options for the consumers to pick from. So you can pick, you know, what's best for you and your preference. And again, for visual reference, the GL clicky is white, GL tactile is brown, and GL linear is red. These actually at 1.5 millimeters with a total travel distance of just 2.7 millimeters. So it's a much shorter travel distance than your standard mechanical key switch that you probably tried in the past. Usually keyboards actually at two millimeters with a four millimeter travel distance. So just all together here, we are getting the slimmest of the slim while not sacrificing anything. So big plus. And now we'll do a sound test for all three of the GL switches. Um, I'll go through, do one at a time, then kind of wrap it up with like a, a threesome.
And then we have the RGB lights and the G-Hub software. And I have to admit, G-Hub is probably the most refined and polished software I've seen amongst a lot of the companies out there. Uh, it's really easy to maneuver and stuff like that. And everything is just laid out right in front of you. For the RGB effects, there's probably 50 plus different ones built in that you can go and cycle between and customize, change up. So I really like that between the preset lighting effects. Uh, those are your more usual ones. The freestyle tab is for kind of making your own effects and layout. And then there's animations, which essentially just add RGB animations to the keyboard. So just really, really impressed with the, the wealth of different effects you can add to this. The RGB shines through really nicely. Obviously not gonna go through all of the different effects that would take forever, uh, but you, you get an idea. Definitely impressed though. Then you have the assignments tab for switching up the layout and what the keys do and stuff, as well as assigning those uh, 5G keys. So like the macros on the left side of the board. And again, with M1, M2, and M3 essentially being different profiles, you can have five different ones for each of those three, but you can also enable G shift and then assign what those macros are again. So think of it as having 10 different macros per M profile. Then lastly is the tab for disabling the Windows key or which keys you want to disable while you're gaming. So wrapping it all up, the G915 is just in a league of its own. I think this is hands down the best low profile mechanical wireless RGB keyboard on the market. There's no sacrifices to build quality. It's very, very durable. Um, I love the, the rounded edges with the brushed aluminum. Looks really nice, feels really premium as well. And we also have the mechanical key switches a big plus, we have three different options as well. Couple that with the improved battery life of 30 hours at 100% brightness, great to see. And you also get the things like the multimedia controls, the volume wheel, and the macros, all great stuff. Now on the other end, there are two cons I will bring up. Um, even though I love the media controls and stuff, these circular buttons that are rubber just don't fit in um, with the design language or the aesthetics here. Uh, and it's not even that, they're just super, just mushy. They're like little bowls of mashed potatoes. Don't like these, uh, but not a huge deal breaker. At least, you know, we have them. And the second thing is gonna be the price. Now I said this is a premium keyboard and it's also a premium price tag at $250. Making this, I think, one of the most expensive gaming keyboards, you know, in quotes, on the market. Now. Obviously, there's a lot of quality here, but that's just a lot of money. I don't care who you are, that's a lot. So it's tough for me to say anything other than that, other than the fact that it's completely up to you and your discretion. If this is worth it to you, go out and buy it. You have to ask yourself and ask your wallet if uh, $250, you know, is worth this. Can we do it? No hablo ingles. All right. So yes, premium keyboard at a premium price tag, but I think hands down, it is the best wireless, low profile, slim mechanical RGB keyboard you can buy right now. And guys, that'll wrap it up for my review of the Logitech G915 Lightspeed. Hope you enjoyed. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. And if you like this review, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed the review. Have a good day.